Today, I would like to introduce all participants of the first Bitwig Beat Battle from two weeks ago. The goal was to build a self-generating grid patch within 10 by 10 squares. And the community delivered. I would like to thank all participants and praise them for their great work. I would like to use the video to briefly introduce all patches. You will find links to the artists and to the patches in the description below. So let's start. Xenofish has sent in a masterpiece completely dipped in blue. Several pitch quantizers provide the right note. The patch slowly unwinds in waves and has recurring patterns that makes the patch very musical. Default media transmitter tried to make a complete track with drums, bass and melody, all in 10 by 10 squares. The result is quite simple and mystical. The melody could use some work, but still very well done. Donut Shoes relies on scratch sounds and a cool grooving melody. All the patch needs is a fat beat and we are in business. Good job. Random Scratch gets by without scratch sounds and also tries a more complete track structure. A kick, a bass and a melody and even hi-hats are included. The patch seems to develop a bit, but then falls back on the recurring patterns. But still, great work. Berlin's patch is reminding of early synthesizer concerts by Klaus Schulze. Very nicely realized and you even think you can hear some chants from time to time. Mika actually delivers the complete middle part of a Chemical Brothers or Prodigy production. A big beat could help to complete the whole thing into a song. Frank goes back to the simple structures and gets extraterrestrial sounds out of the small sampler patch. It's great what you can do with just a few modules. Fourteen Below Zero sent in this ambient patch that has been very meditative. Sounds like the patch is evolving in all directions, but always keeping the drone character. Elosa has probably tried to musically recreate an angry server rack here. I think such sounds can also be very interesting for games, films or art installations. I think it's well done. Thanks for sending it in. With John Wood's patch we have a typical track structure again. Noisy drums with the melody, what more do we want? Here too I can imagine that few additional instruments can quickly lead to a beautiful track.
I mean, Haslo probably also pissed off a server rack here too, or should maybe team up with Elosa for an experimental album. Still, we have a kick drum, pleeps, and a noise carpet here that could hint at hi hats. Great little patch, thanks for sending it in and contributing. Very well done. Beatnik has tried his hand at a dance floor beat and spiced it up with generative melody. There are even a few squares left. With a decent bass and a few pads, a complete track could be created out of this too. Sinus One has probably delivered one of the smallest patches. An ever-changing drone and the beat-setting melody create an interesting sound experience here. Kyrob brings us back to ambient. Blurred pet sounds, a morphing arpeggio, and some bell sounds create a great mood. The song of itself probably tells here the story of a bird. The drone in the background makes a good impression and the melody in the foreground could still use some variety. But actually everything is already quite coherent. Enigma Curry also tries his hand at extraterrestrial sounds. The melody creates a great background atmosphere and the FX sounds make you think of monsters or maybe crazy robots. So surely also something for movie or game soundtrack. Crossmod delivers thick bass drums with generative arpeggio patterns at deep bass and hi-hats. The patch invites you to play around and can easily be modified to generate new patterns. Intana's main melody reminds me of a mysterious whistling tone or singing birds. Not sure, but the steady beat in the background makes it not less suspenseful. Last but not least, Artsense has delivered a very successful and full-sounding patch. Frequencies are well balanced and the effect sounds keep the whole thing interesting. Good work. So these are all the entries from the last beat battle. Um, thanks to everyone for joining in. It was great fun to listen to all of these patches and seeing that people actually getting creative with Bitwig and the Grid, finding new ways, learning something new and so on. So a second beat battle is already in the works and in the description you will find links to the details and of course to the rules. Everyone is invited, so make sure you join in, it's great fun. See you next time, thanks for watching and bye.